Yo, what up, internet? I'm on my way to Long Beach Comic Expo where my film Scoundrels is gonna be screened and I'm gonna do a panel and Kurt and Kelsey are gonna be there and Keo, their son, and we're just gonna hang out and see what people think of the film. We'll probably check out the con, maybe go into some behind the scenes stuff. Currently, my social anxiety level is at about a six. We're just looking to have a good day here at uh, Long Beach Comic Expo. So uh, stick around and we'll see what happens. Oh look, somebody in front of me got a Florida plate. I'm seeing these Florida plates everywhere, dude. Man, they think us Floridians were crazy, but really, I don't know, we about to take over the world. Back in LA traffic, back in these LA streets. I don't know what's worse, LA traffic or Orlando traffic. Last time I was in Orlando, the traffic was pretty bad. You guys are really getting that whole uh, I-4 renovation. I do not feel sorry for you, mother You get out of the fast lane. If I'm gonna vlog. Look good in there. I'm spying on y'all. I see y'all. What up? Oh, Darth Vader, man. Yeah, you're with the press. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> with the press, the big city Brit. It's Indiana Jones and his dad. Oh, Keo wants to meet the Mandalorian. <laughs> He's been watching the Mandalorian. It's the best, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, he finished it. Keo, you want to do it? Did the screening start at 2:30? I guess so. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. It wouldn't be us if we weren't late. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's the Woo! stars. The stars. Yeah. What is the purpose of this vlog? Because I want him there with me, by my yeah. side. Oh yeah, there it is. Hold on, let's see if our name is on the... Look! Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, I'm going to bring Jackie Dallas up. She's one of our women of sci-fi, one of my friends. She's been in a whole bunch of stuff. You know how they did that? You know what that is? Your child science teacher? This is my first time meeting like almost all of you. So I'm like really excited to meet you guys. I'm Brittany Joyner. Um, I've directed Scoundrels. We were really trying to go for a Mandalorian feel like before the Mandalorian came out. This is the way. <laughs> so I didn't try to beat them on the curb for that one. Our biggest challenge was our set. So when I set out to make this movie like I'm a big Star Wars fan. I didn't want to make a Star Wars movie in the desert or in the woods. I had to find a location for this bar and we went like back and forth on a lot of things. And what ended up happening is my friend Sam was a cosplayer and he just had this garage full of like fake weapons and costumes. And he was like, hey, I'll help you with the costumes. I'll even like build some stuff. And he, he built a lot of the props and the costumes for this piece. But and I was like, hey, we really need a location. You think we could use your garage? And it was the last place we wanted to use, really, because you can, you can tell it's a garage. <laughs> but we ended up doing it, and like in a day, he and I just like dressed this garage to make it look like a bar. We just filled it with smoke and people like hide everything. The bar that the guy gets like smashed down on is his laundry machine. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to like put stuff over it and shoot it to where you like couldn't see it. But other than that, I think the actor that was supposed to play Mika, that was supposed to be a male role, and he dropped out. We were like, you know what, let's actually put Lindy, who was supposed to play one of the side characters, let's put her in that role. Instead of trying to get one of the guys to fill that and try to make it different. And like, she just really went with this like accent. And we were like, wait a minute, she's like, Kathy Bates, like, this is crazy. <laughs> So we just let her go with it, like organically. The whole the whole thing like came together organically, which is like something that I think is kind of important. Brilliant. Great yeah. job. I really enjoyed it. I couldn't tell it was a garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> exactly. Don't right. Where did you get the idea, like the story? Because you know everyone tries to do a Star Wars. Where did that origin come from? I had this idea in my head for this character of Davin, like ever since I was like a kid and I watched Star Wars. And like I wanted this like kind of rough guy that like 
he does have a force, spoiler alert, and like we want to make more, but it's just, you know, money. Right. <laughs> it just developed over time, and like one day I sat down with a writer, a writer friend, and I was like, let's make a western in Star Wars, and let's like write the dialogue like it's a western. So like what was that first day till, till now, like how long did that take? Like. Um, I mean, I came up with that idea probably when I was like 10 or 11 years old. And we wrote the script and we wanted to shoot it like about nine months later, but the location fell through, so we had to wait another year and then we got our location, which is great because in that year I met Kelsey and her husband Kurt, who plays Davin, and they were the key to bring it all together. I made uh, three fan films in, in three of my like favorite genres, which was Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Stranger Things. Yeah. <laughs> now I may not get a job from those, but someone may not go online and say, hey, that's a great Stranger Things fan film. Let's hire her to, to direct an episode of Stranger Things. But in my career, I'm an assistant editor right now, and I plan to move up to directing television and stuff like that. If I'm ever in a room and Stranger Things is still going, <laughs> I could say, hey, this is what it looks like when I make a Stranger Things episode or a Harry Potter episode. Star Wars episode, which could be very likely, um, and I could be like, hey, I made this, and I made this for under $10,000, so you give me a budget, this is what you get. So that's why I do it, um, but I am moving away from that into more, you know, diverse parts of my career, but I did want to make those films, so I had those in the background. I like how you were like, I'm just going to put this right here, <laughs> Stranger Things, like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I like how it's like, I'm a big fan. <laughs> can we get a picture? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, please. You can check out all my fan films at youtube.com backslash the big city send out. I'm also an annoying vlogger. My friend Kelsey's helped me vlog right there. So you can check out all my annoying vlogs as well. We just screened our film. <laughs> it was awesome. And now we're walking around the con. So what did you guys think? It was, it was awesome. Yeah, it Being was able to watch really, it with everybody. Yeah, it was really cool to yeah. watch it with an audience that had never seen it before. Yeah. And wasn't a part of it because they were super excited by like everything. Yeah. 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 I'm Hearing excited. the reactions of What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was super cool. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we're gonna enjoy the rest of the con. So here we go. Ray. What'd you guys get from the other dude? What is that? I got my dime bag of Star Wars things. <laughs> oh my god. The Mandalorian. Oh, sick. Hold on. He has guns too, but. Oh, that's sick. Did you watch the show? Yeah. You liked it? I started watching it. Keo loved it. That show made me think that we could pitch our short. 100%. Yeah. When we watched, when we watched the first episode of Mandalorian, both Kelsey and I were like, this, we did this. That episode yeah. <laughs> with Bill Burr, do you know Bill Burr, the comedian? Yeah. Did you two make that? That was exactly like what I was thinking we could right? do. It could totally be a series. It could totally be a series. It could. Funder, we send us some funding. Look at all these, man. Holy it's crap. These are cool. That was hilarious that E.T. was in that one. Yes, E.T. I think gremlin. he's in the Star Wars prequels. I'm gonna put it here in the video so that you can see it later. <laughs> I miss a vote of no confidence. Look, it's the dude from Breaking Bad. Look at these dudes. They're incredible. I'm about to meet the dudes from Breaking Bad. Get in here. We never like did a behind the scenes for Scoundrels. Yeah. yeah. We were just too into making it, I guess. Oh, I never do. <laughs> I feel like every, every time I finish a film, I'm like, man, I wish I had like a blooper reel yeah. and like a BTS and everything. It's so hard to get that with like yeah. all the moving parts of making a film and everyone so on set has a job. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I know. Let's see 111, take two. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Kelsey, assassin, awesome shot, take one. Action. Oh. 
right? <laughs> okay, Leo, you're talking to these guys. Just hand me your hands. And then you'll go from within, you'll do your hands. Okay? Step them up the shoulder, and then we'll back to the camera. And start talking to them. Hi, guys. Like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you want him to not make the noise? Oh yeah, don't make the noise. Back to one. <laughs> I get excited. Oh my god. You gonna break it? No, I got a perfect shot. <laughs> what happens if you boing it? Oh yeah. It's- Holy oh, 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 shit! Right, okay. It's okay. in there. Perfect, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, so... Speaking of grudges... Oh, sorry. I love it. <laughs> Give me just like just a kiss. No like over okay. sexual. <laughs> I like the sexual. I, mean, I, I, like, I was trying to be as gross as possible. Stop being so sexual. <laughs> I, I don't know sexual. <laughs> you no good cheating son of a tauntaun. That don't mean that I don't have mouths to feed. Mm. <laughs> Are you looking at me? <laughs> D800, take two. 112D, take one, MOS. 113E, take four. Okay, I like to have the script. I wanted to do a Western in, in Star Wars. Pre Mandalorian, thank you very much. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Double Mandos. <laughs> so I met, I met these guys while we were walking our dogs in our apartment one night. We met at a dog park. And then I guess I was just like, hey, I have this script that yeah. I wanted you guys to read, and I think it would be cool if you guys played the part. Yeah, we were basically walking, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have this script. It's a Star Wars fan film, yep. and I think you guys would be perfect for the role, these two roles. Yep. Like, uh, so you sent us the script. Yep. Yeah, and then we read it, and we were like, this is and dope. Then we're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then in oh, between man. that, well, I helped you with this. your um, Stranger, Stranger Things fan film. Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. And uh, that turned out so great, so we were just like super excited super to work with Brittany. We met in like the fall. We Maybe met like, in like summer. We still met. We had summer. just moved. Then winter comes around, it's like seven months later after we meet Brittany. Yep. And she's like, I'm going to fly you guys out to Orlando and we're yep. going to okay. make this Shoot film. Yeah, but pre that, we started talking about like stunts. I couldn't have done the stunts without you guys. And oh, yeah. now I can show the video that we made. We like choreographed all the stunts. Oh gosh. Yeah. In their apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and we filmed it all on my iPhone. Because we were doing fight choreography, but uh, we lived in LA and then the other three actors lived yeah. in Orlando, Florida. Right. Yeah. So we were trying to film what we thought maybe the fight choreography would be and yeah. send it out to Orlando. <laughs> send it to your DPs who were in Orlando. Yeah, so he could plan all the shots. Yeah. Yeah. We we used that as a guide on set. I remember yeah. that. We would have been screwed without that stupid little iPhone video. <laughs> oh. It's also like very hard to do fight choreography and not um, rehearse it before filming it. Yeah. But we had a unique opportunity of only being in Orlando for like three days or yeah. four days. So like there was such a time crunch in the filmmaking. So yeah. when we landed, we basically went right into filming. Yep. And we worked oh, like two straight. Days. I call it four days, but it was it was three. like three days, and the third day turned into a fourth day. <laughs> <laughs> the next Which morning, because we were flying out the next morning, so yeah. we filmed until like, all night. Yeah. We had to leave for our flight basically all night. Yeah. We had the last the last scene where we were like. Intimate yeah. is like 4 a.m. But yeah. I think thankfully, like Manny and um, Josh, like already had flight experience. Yeah, yeah, they both did. Yeah, and they learned yeah. it so quick, and we're uh, just yeah. able to just hammer it out. Manny was great too yeah. at just giving little things here. And yeah, there. he's, he's so good. There and just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the casting crew was so much fun to work with. I know that's that's my goal as a yeah. filmmaker is just to not have it feel like work, and we're just having fun creating Enjoying, something right? cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everyone was so awesome to work with. It was so I much know. fun too to like work with people from across the nation yep. and create such a And not only that, I mean, their Star Wars knowledge was just incredible. Yeah, um, Sam's knowledge was insane. Brian. Brian. 
Go check out his podcast. Yeah, it's the coolest. Model. Remember like Josh was uh, Josh was having <laughs> yeah, like have allergies. No, so, what? Remember jo his runny nose? He had like a greater <laughs> allergy. So he just kept like he was like struggling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Nose was running so bad. Like, really? So bad for him. Yeah, the bottle smashing stuff. That was fun. That, that was, was fun. Great. Especially because Philip was trying to get like a specific shot. Yeah. That was like super hard to nail down. Wait, stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm in the frame and my mouth's not moving, it's gonna look a little weird. Watermelon, watermelon. Oh, thanks, man. After we did the um, the fight scene with Josh and I, which, mind you, you can't see, Josh is like this tall. So, yeah. <laughs> so his foot, when he kicks me, is all right here. And then I took my shirt off and I had like a footprint of, from him. <laughs> no way. Well, because I told him, I was like, you actually, like, actually kicked me so, yeah. I, so I can feel it and, and move with it. Yeah. And so he gave me a kick and so I had a footprint. <laughs> Yeah. What about you and Manny? Any stories about you know, the fight with you and Manny? He was great to work with, honestly. Like, that was really the first time that we ever choreographed a fight scene in a film, and to do that and then apply it that night and go right into filming it, and also yeah. working with um, Laser Line Productions, too. I don't think no one had really shot a fight scene before. Yeah, we just figured it out. Which is, yeah. there's a lot that goes into that, and so I think yeah. it just went so well because Manny was already really great at martial arts, so we just picked everything up really well and like, yeah. Oh, that hurt. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap this up because the battery's about to die. But if you want to see more scoundrels, let us know in the comments and just, I don't know, maybe we'll find we the money to make it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but Cora and Davin got married and had a baby. Yeah. And another one on the way. Can another one on the way. Neto and Curtis Michael Muggins. That's yeah. it. And what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to see that, let us know. Otherwise, see you next yeah. time. Bye.